guys, so in today's video we're going to be making a little kitty cat DIY. Now this DIY isn't one of my own, it's actually one I found over on Pinterest and I've been wanting to do it for ages and ages and ages and I thought, well, why not film doing it so you guys can see how we get along with it. So we're going to be making a DIY cat tent and the instructions for this originally come from the Instructables website which I will link down below so you can go and check it out if you want to. So I have the tutorial open here on my tablet and I'm going to be following it step by step and we're going to see if we can make a cat tent. Now for the list of things you'll need to begin with, you'll need of course a cat. You'll also need an old medium sized t-shirt, a piece of cardboard which they recommend is 15 by 15 inches but my cardboard is a little bit smaller than that. You'll need two wire hangers, tape, safety pins and something to cut and bend the wires with. The first step is to cut off the twirly bits of your coat hanger, so this bit up the top. So I'm going to take my pliers and hopefully these are sharp enough to do the trick and I'm just going to cut through each part of the squiggly bit. So there we are, that's the squiggly bit off one of my hangers, you can see what it looks like there. Just an open-ended hanger and now to do the other one. And there we go, that is the second one done, so now we have two hangers without tops on. So the next step says to shape the hangers and reinforce the cardboard if needed. Now they suggest that you only need to reinforce your cardboard if it has a bend in the middle. Mine doesn't and it does feel quite sturdy so I'm going to skip that step. But I am of course going to be reshaping my hangers using my pliers. So what I'm doing first of all is I'm straightening all this out. I figured it'd be easier to start with a straight wire and then go from there. And then I think I should just be able to bend it into an arch with my hands quite easily. Then when you're done bending your wire hangers, they should look something like this. Okay, so the next step is to poke a hole in each corner of your cardboard using your wire hangers or any other device, I suppose. I'm gonna place it just a little in from the corners, just so it's got a bit more support. There we go, and just poke them in. Here we go, and through the cardboard and through the cardboard. The next step is to tape the two hangers together. So, by the looks of it, you want to just sort of position them where you want them, and then just tape them in the central point. I'm using masking tape for this because that's what they used in the tutorial, but I'm sure you could just use regular tape and it would work just fine. Okay, so this is a little bit fiddly, trying to do it with one person. There we are, just wrap it around the central point. Keep wrapping it until it's nice and sturdy. So there we go, when you're done taping it together, that's kind of what it looks like. The next step is to push the wire through the holes in the cardboard and then bend a small portion of the wire around and tape it down to the bottom to secure it into place. So it says to push about an inch of the wire through and then just bend it down with your pliers or whatever it is you have for bending. So there we go, just do that with each piece. There we go, and then I'm just going to get some tape and tape all of those down. This has suddenly become quite a small tent, and I have quite a big cat. This is going to be interesting to see if it even fits in this at the end. So now I'm just going to take my tape, and I'm going to secure these down to the base of the cardboard. Just keep them in place, nice and secure. Next we come to the finalization of the tent and that is adding the t-shirt. Kind of have to dress the frame, I guess. Um, just pull it up and over. Uh, a little bit awkward, a little bit fiddly. Not too bad though. There we are, just pull it into place and make it nice and tight. Okay, now it just says once you have put it over to basically tighten everything and secure the excess t-shirt to the bottom. So we're just going to pin this bit to the, um, the bottom of the tent. This is definitely the most difficult part of it. Everything else was, was fairly easy, but this bit is just really fiddly. Okay, so I didn't necessarily do the best job of that. Uh, I'm probably gonna have to go back later and fix that up because it all just seems a bit bleh and falling apart. But yeah, that is kind of it. That is your cat tent. Um, I'm gonna see now what Bertie thinks of it. 
So I had another go at tidying up the base of the tent and I discovered that it's actually a lot easier if you use hot glue to stick the t-shirt to the base. So it looks a little bit tidier now, it's not too bad. Just added in a towel for comfort and gave it to the cat. And I've got to be honest, I really did not think the cat would actually fit inside the tent, but lo and behold, he somehow managed to and he seemed to like it. So there we go, that is how to make a DIY cat tent courtesy of the Instructables website and Jessie Ratfink who was the original poster of this tutorial. Um, so yeah, if you like this video don't forget to leave a thumbs up. You can also share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you very much for watching guys and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!